What's up, I'm Tyler Casey, and today I'm gonna to be talking about what camera to get. So when I started out shooting music videos, it took me forever to purchase a camera. I never really made that jump to get my first camera because I did so much research on YouTube trying to figure out which camera I should get, watching test videos, and it's a little bit easier nowadays to know what camera to get, but I'm still gonna go through and show you some cameras you guys can get. I'm gonna go on Amazon, eBay, and just kinda show you different levels of price ranges of cameras that you guys can get. So yeah, let's just go online. So if you guys don't own a camera, first off I would say shoot some videos on your cell phone if you have an iPhone. You can even get the very first vi the very first camera like if you're a kid. I shot videos on a flip camera. These things are that's $28 that shoots 720p. These things are pretty funny. This thing's $35. These things are not good, but I have shot videos on them. Uh, they're just like point and shoot cameras. So any point and shoot video camera, you could probably go with one of those. Even a VHS camera. I just shot a music video for SOB on a VHS camera and that looks kind of coming back. Really do. <clears throat> so it really matters what kind of story Really, I even shot videos on webcams back in the day, so it really comes down to the story, the editing, kind of what you're trying to tell. Comment below some old funny, comment below if you guys have used any of these cameras or used any old cameras back in the past. So I'm gonna boost up my price range. That's kind of like 100 below. You're gonna have to use old hand-me-down stuff or like point and shoot cameras. Don't know too much in that price range, but definitely, VHS cameras, a flip camera, your cell phone, those are gonna be your go-to. The next price range is, I would probably say the Canon T3i. The Canon T3i, T2i, these cameras were at the beginning of the DSLR revolution. The good thing about them is you can learn your manual settings. It's all about learning manual settings because once you learn those, you're gonna be able to operate a RED because you're gonna know f-stop, shutter speed, ISO it's obviously the red has a lot more options, but if you can master these settings You're gonna be set up when you get to those bigger cameras. So let's check out the t3i So we have a t3i right here $211 used you could get one with the kit lens another good lens is the 50 millimeter So 329 320 that comes with a bunch of stuff. This comes with two lenses So this is pretty sweet so definitely a T3i is a good beginner lens. And if you don't want the flip out screen or if you're on a budget, you could even get the T2i. The T2i is really cheap right there, $179. I'm pretty sure the cameras were the same. The only real difference is the flip out screen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was it. And now I'm gonna get into the $500 range. So the cool thing about buying those cheap Canon cameras is you can still buy the really nice Canon EF mount glass like Rokinons. You could get the Sigma 18 to 35. Then later on when you get a GH4, GH5, you can totally upgrade that and you could use that same lens and sell the T3i or T2i. So it's really good to invest in glass early on so you could get better lenses and then use them on better cameras. We even use the Sigma 18 to 35 on red cameras. So Definitely it's a solid lens to invest into. Moving up, we could look at this G7 here. I've seen a lot of good videos shot on the G7. Brand new, it's 497. And then what lens does that come with? That comes with some kit lens, which is all right. I would also recommend getting the 12 to 35 2.8 with this. But this camera shoots 4K. I don't think it has the best slow motion. I think it shoots 1080, 60. So this camera shoots 4K, it's pretty solid. It'll definitely get you set up to use the GH5 or GH5S. The next camera that I'd really recommend is the A6300. I've seen really awesome videos shot on this camera. Brand new on Amazon with the lens for $900. Um, I've used this camera a few times. I don't really know what exact lenses to get, but I definitely recommend this camera. It shoots great low light, it shoots 4K, 120 FPS at 1080p, which is amazing. The autofocus is solid, so if you want to do gimbal work, and it's really lightweight. I also like the GH4 as well. I talk about this in my guide. I kind of compare these two cameras. The GH4 is pretty good too. I think this camera is a little bit better because it has better low light, but the GH4 does have better slow motion. It's kind of up to you though. I do like the GH4 menu style and the lenses that you can get. It's kind of a personal preference. It's kind of a personal preference. They're still kind of the same price. They've held their price range for quite a while. 
you can probably pick this one up used as well i recommended this camera to people and they've all loved it so definitely check out some tests on this there's there's tons of video there's tons of music videos that i've seen shot on this camera you definitely would not regret getting this so make so make sure to check that one out if you want to save a little and pretty and not too bad you can make an upgrade and you could get the a6500 which which is a lot better autofocus and you could get all sorts of You could get the A6500, which you could get the A6500, which is an overall better camera. You could get a better lens for it. It's gonna have better low light, faster autofocus, better in body stabilization. So if you have a little bit of, so if you have some extra money, I would definitely recommend that if you want to go with Sony. Otherwise, I would go with the GH5. The GH5 pushing it up a little bit so right now you can get the gh5 this is a cool package it comes with the case for that's around 1800 here's just the body for 17 let's see how much it is with the 12 to 35 right now um so it's not i mean the 12 to 35 so there's the gh5 for 1800 and then the 12 to 35 is 900 so you're pretty much in it for almost three thousand dollars still but I definitely think this camera is worth it. Let's check on eBay and see if we can find some used GH5s. Cool. So there's a bunch of bids on here. Let's check out sold. Let's see what they're selling for. So this GH5 just sold for $1,500. That was one with a bunch of lenses. That's a pretty sweet deal. 3900 A GH5S for 2000 That's not bad. That's a pretty sick deal because the GH5S by itself is 2500 So I would definitely say get the GH5S as well if you're kind of in that price range. The other competitor that I would say if you want a lot better low light is I would say get the A7 III. The A7 III is a pretty sweet camera I've shot it on a couple times I don't really like the button layout of Sony the full frame is nice but I do prefer Panasonic right now so the a7 III is two thousand dollars right here you're gonna have to get Sony lenses or get some type of adapter to EF mount it's really up to you if you guys want to go Sony or Panasonic I would recommend renting one or linking up with someone who has one and trying it out. See what works best for you. Download footage offline, YouTube free Sony footage to download and then download it and edit that and see what color profiles you like the most. I really like the flip out screen of the GH5 and the GH5S compared to the Sony screens where they just flip like that. But it's totally up to you guys. So I'm gonna end it right there. I don't own any more expensive cameras than that. So usually I just hire people who own reds. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want help with, whether that's purchasing tripods, stabilizers, more lights. I'm not sure. Let me know below. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't. I'm Tyler Casey, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.